So this is our big main event of the evening for the ISKA Professional World Title. Five three-minute rounds. Chad Tuslik Sugden stepping up to the professional world title. Nine fights, nine wins, no losses as a professional fighter. But in terms of professional K1, vastly more experienced is Fiorio. 47 fights, five times as many fights as his young opponent. 20 big KOs. If he wins this, he will be a deserving world champion, Chad Sugden. But mature beyond his years in terms of technique and discipline. So five, three minute rounds, have a good look at each other. Cheap kick to the chest from Sugden. Fiorio having a good look at his man. Both men in incredible shape here. Testing with the jab, Sugden. Fiorio tucks up. Got the feeling the Italian is just having a look here at what his opponent has to offer. And that was a high point round kick to the head of Fiorio. Good shot to the body from Sugden as he came in with the left hand almost straight low. Again, Furio tucking up and defending switches to southpaw, switches back to orthodox. A push kick from Sugden. Furio, no real offensive yet. Maybe it's the ploy to have a look at Sugden in this first round, see what he's up against. I hope so, because it's going to be a long night for him, otherwise if there's no offensive there. Sucked into the inside of the front leg. Nothing major thrown by the man yet. Fiorio checks the leg kick on the end of that combination from Sugden. Hands up high from Fiorio. Knee to the midsection from Sugden. Then Fiorio comes back with the punch combination, but he's out of range. Axe kick attempt from Sugden, which Fiorio says landed to the groin. Cage opening round. John Blackledge, our referee, asking him to work twice in this opening round. Fiorio looking to draw Sugden in, but all he does is get a left hand, which woke him up considerably right at the end of the round, and you've got to go with the red corner because. Very passive in that opening round was Paolo Fiorio. But is there more to come from the Italian after getting back to his corner, having had a very good look at Chad to slick Sugden, who takes this opening round. What an achievement that will be for the young man from Newark if he manages it in his 10th fight. Lots of experience in the kickboxing and the amateur ranks of kickboxing from when he was a youngster. Now mixing it with the professionals. Fiorio taking centre ring but not working. Sutton closes the gap, gets the hands and feet going nicely together. Now it's Sugden that's got the centre of the ring. Sugden almost got through with the right to the head. He does with the right to the body. Furio steps forward but doesn't get through with the left jab. Still like out of range at the moment, the Italian.
Shabden kicks out of the lead leg, then brings the, the kick higher for the second one. Cheap kick through the channel. Says it was low for Rio, but look for the big punch reply. Shabden, you see, was looking for the, the running knee in there, didn't land. Rio push kick as he comes in for the roundhouse from Shabden. Perfect timing. Shabden looking to close the gap again. Left hand, right leg. Fiorio replies with the punch combinations. Shabden stays on him. Fiorio comes forward, but Shabden steps back, spins with the kick, just misses the head. Shabden ducks under the attack, left, right, right roundhouse. Bread and butter technique gets through beautifully. Steps out of range, Fiorio. Takes the low kick and perfectly timed with the support leg. Was it Fiorio probably saying it was a bit too late? It seemed within reasonable time to me. It was an instantaneous response. Fiorio looking to push forward. Takes two midsection kicks for his troubles. Chops at the front leg as well. Two good rounds for the man in the red corner. And you can hear the crowd's response here at the Kellam Hall. As Chad Sugden in on my unofficial card goes two rounds up with three to go. Three of five. And the Italian fighter needs to go up a gear to stay in this fight. He's two rounds down with three to go. There's an ample opportunity to look at Chad Sugden now, but hasn't been able to get through with anything meaningful. Sugden comes in with the front push kick once more, turns his man. Fiorio comes with the right lead hand and then the left, but is shrugged off by Sugden once more. Bit more urgency though from the Italian here in the third. Sugden with the jab, then the right hand. Strong right hand, first good one from Fiorio since it started. Sugden looking to respond. Double left hook from Sugden. Fiorio comes forward, the left hand just misses, so does, sorry, the left leg just misses, so does the right hand. Slips as he chops at the leg of Sugden. Sugden catching his man on the way in this time. And there you go. As he steps forward. He steps forward onto the teep. And ends up on his back. Sugden closes the gap quickly. Looking to change the angle. Sugden. The knee just misses. The roundhouse to the midsection doesn't. Looks to catch the leg again. This time, doesn't take the throw. Fiorio, no success so far in the three opening rounds. He's pushing forward more, but not getting through. And again, Sugden doubles and triples up with the left hand. Big right hand from Sugden comes through the channel. Now, it looks like... The 
being warned for holding, but you're allowed to catch and strike at the same time if it's simultaneous. It's when you hold the leg and keep hold of it. So you can actually catch and strike. Strange. Let's see how that goes. Sugden pushes forward with the hands. And you can hear the crowd's response every time Sugden puts his man under pressure and lands clean with the left hand at the end. I consider that three up. So, four or five and a my card, which is totally unofficial. The Italian Paolo Fiorio needs a stoppage to take this fight. Comes in with that right hand, no left setup. Sugden looking to counter. He's got centre ring, but looking to counter as Fiorio comes in. Left and right from Sugden, focusing more on his hands at the moment. Trying to lure Fiorio out, and then he lands. Right hand landed the right leg, then the left hand landed, and you can hear the crowd's response. Sweet combination from the man from the red corner. Just looking to vary the angles now. And Sugden comes forward. Knee from Furio. Lands to the midsection of Sugden. And an inside kick. It starts to warm up now as both men trade. Checks the right kick as it comes in. Fiorio needs to work more here. He's behind on the cards, I'm sure of it. And can't wait for Sugden to respond to it. He needs to initiate. Sugden coming forward again. Doubles out the jab speculatively. Fiorio comes forward, walks onto the front push kick. Spins, Sugden blocks it. Takes the lead leg. Left and right response to the right hand. Cheap kick from Sugden. Nice body shots with the left hand on the end from Sugden and the crowd roars. Two to the body, one to the head there. Sweetly done. Spinning back fish blocked. And the left hand from Sugden in reply. Spinning back kick also out of range. Furio realising. Sugden looking to change the angle slightly to the left to the midsection from the roundhouse lands. So we've got four down, one to go. And on my unofficial scorecard, I've got Chad Sugden taking them all. Theo Rio was livelier in that round, but not nearly enough for a man looking to take the world title. Right hand attempt from Fiorio, no setup, just throws it. Switches to Southpaw again. Spinning side kick from Sugden finds the target. Left and right hand combination from Fiorio, countered while he was off balance and slips when he throws the right hand once more. Sugden comes in with a good solid left to the body. Oh, 
So it's for Fiorio to come and take this. I feel Sugden is fighting well within himself and well within his comfort zone against a more vastly experienced man. Nice right to the body as he came forward there, Sugden. Then lands with a stiff jab as well. Spinning back fist lands from Fiorio. First meaningful shot in the fight that he has landed. Chopping low kick. All coming too late in my book though. Front push kick as Fiorio comes in. Look to spin against, but Sugden turns. Fiorio spins, but there's no real intent in it. Sugden doubles up the left hook. Pushing forward, body and head with the left hand there, front cheap kick. Fiorio comes back with his hands. Spins, it looked low there, but Sugden ignores it. Spinning back fist again from Fiorio. Desperation now from the Italian. You'd like to have seen him do this maybe two rounds ago. Good right hand from Fiorio. He's proven he's dangerous. Slips when he throws the kick. He's shown flashes in this round of what he's capable of, which is so frustrating because this could have been a classic fight. Right hand from Sugden finds the target. As it is, he saved it all for the fifth. Jumping knee from Sugden. And there you go, the spin at the end. I've got it, a five-round shutout. You can hear what the crowd thinks of that. They feel they've got the new world champion. Fiorio showed what he had only in the fifth round, and by then it was far too little, too late, I think, to stop Chad Too Slick Sugden becoming the K1 world professional champion. It's the unanimous decision for your winner in the back of the Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have with me the runner-up in that fight, Paolo. Now, although we're very excited, there can be no world champion without a worthy opponent. So please, let's hear it for Paolo before I have a quiet word with him. Paolo, a very hard fight. How did you see that fight? Uh, I like this fight because uh, it's uh, important for me and uh, I'm happy that my contender has win. I'm happy for, for him. And, and what about your part in it? How did you feel you performed today? How did you feel he, he performed today? Because I see today's performance. Because I see. No, I'm uh, a perfectionist. Perfection. Perfection is a Thai boxer, and so I, in this sport, uh, win and lose. Uh, uh, he, my contender, is a, a good fighter. Uh, I'm happy for him. I tell before. Ladies and gentlemen, what a very sporting man indeed. Please, let's hear it one more time for Paolo, who made this such a great title fight. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you. Chad, my, my first question is, is really a very, very simple one. World champion, how's that feel? Amazing. I mean, at uh, this age, and um, only last year I started fighting professionally, and to think that I was going to get this far, uh, I believe in myself, but my dad really believes in me, and all the people around me, close to me, uh, I have doubters that don't really know me, but everyone close to me knew that I can win. And last year I went through challenges that probably people that didn't know me thought I won't win. And today I proved that anyone can do anything when you get in there. It's 
two, two people in there and I was the better man tonight and I'm just so happy to be able to perform in front of Newark. This amazing crowd which have never heard anything like it before. It was absolutely unbelievable. Now I also want to put this win in perspective. It wasn't made easy for you by your coach or father because we've got a man five times the experience, 20 KOs. You're against a vastly more experienced opponent. Yeah, I mean, he was very experienced and he was very strong and I could see, I could sort of read where he was going. He was waiting for me to make a mistake and try and risk myself to catch me off guard and I never took that risk. I kept ahead of him all the time and uh, I knew that he was experienced enough to catch me if I made a mistake and that's what I didn't do tonight was make a mistake. Kept my hands up, kept organised and took it all on the gloves and I did as good as I can do and I mean, if I'm going to only get better and bring on anyone. I said before this fight, I said whoever turns up on Saturday May the 18th, I would win. And what did I do? Come here tonight and I won in front of my crowd. It's amazing. Now, I mean this in the most respectful way. I don't think you are at your best. You're still so young. And I still got the impression commentating on this fight. And Dad, I heard there's so much more there. That is phenomenal for such a young man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's my best for now, but the best gets better all the time. And uh, I just hope I keep improving, keep fit and healthy, keep doing what I do best and enjoy myself. I mean, I couldn't enjoy myself as much as what I've done tonight and it's just amazing just amazing well Chad if I can bring Dean in here for a second Dean coach father must be one of the proudest days of your life well, well this beats it all for me because I've had some fantastic nights as a fighter but to actually coach somebody to do what Chad's done and let's put it into real perspective the middleweight division is the strongest division in the world but the K1 world title is much more respected worldwide than the full contact world title I won. And Chad had to beat the very best to get that belt. And the ISKA is the most recognized body there is out there. But to win it at middleweight, and to win it after eight professional fights, 19 years of age, Glory need to take him from the undercard and put him on the main card because it's now time for the young blood. And I believe Chad can beat any of those guys. And when we get to 23, 24, they're not even going to have any chance. At the minute, they might have a chance, but that will make it more exciting. But we're, we're ready for anybody. Well, this is what I wanted to put in perspective. You and I have had this conversation before, and I know it's difficult for Chad when he sat there, but he's still got growing years, he's still got maturing years. As you said, the future could be truly phenomenal. Absolutely. What Chad wants to do is create a legacy and uh, he's got a lot of legends on his arm tattooed and uh, I would think at some point in the future Chad will probably be a tattoo on somebody's arm because what he's doing now at such a young age is, is absolutely outstanding. Now, this guy had 20 knockouts. Chad had had eight professional fights. 20 knockouts out of 36 wins. He could not make a mistake tonight and he didn't. And I'm so proud that he went out there with a level head and maturity, but when he gets his man years and his man strength, which he will do, um, it's going to be a very scary dilemma for people that get in the ring with him. And you know, I respect George Petrosian as the best pound for pound fighter of all time. He's an incredible fighter, and I don't see anybody out there that could maybe knock him off his pedestal. But if he's still kicking around in two or three years' time, I think Tuesday could give him the best fight he's ever going to have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that from a proud coach and father. And, and I'd like to say just one last time, please, let's give it up for your new ISKA World Professional K1 Champion. He's too slick. He's Chad Sugden.